Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be trying out some watercolor paints, and watercolor is something that I'm still learning to work with. I'm definitely no expert, but I do think it's a really fun medium, and I love the look of it. Especially watercolor and ink. I absolutely love the two together, and most of my illustrations are watercolor and ink based. The brand that I'm using today, I actually had tried before, but that was years ago when I was just starting to get into art. And I had an art set that came with acrylic paint, oil paint, and watercolor. But I didn't use them much. I think I only tested them once or twice before I moved on to acrylic paint. Most recently, over the past couple of years, when I used watercolor, I just used this basic watercolor palette that I got from Michaels for around $6. The brand that I'm trying out is Royal and Langnickel, and I picked up this paint set the other day when I was at Gabe's. If you don't know what Gabe's is, it's this really big discount store that sells a lot of different things for more than half off. It's kind of like an even bigger discounted TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So anyway, I went to Gabe's and I was walking around and I saw this little art section and they had pencil sets, watercolor, and acrylic paint by the brand Royal and Langnickel. The name sounded so familiar to me, but I just couldn't really place if it was a good brand or not. So I looked it up and I actually found that they carried at Michael's and of course I get all of my supplies at Michael's so I trusted it and the difference is that the art set at Gabe's was only $4.99, so cheap. So of course I grabbed the watercolor and acrylic paint pack and I thought it would be cool to try them out and let you guys know the quality of them. When I got back home and was looking through my paints, I realized the name was so familiar to me though because I had some of them a long time ago and I mean over six years ago, I just hadn't used them ever. This is a 15 piece set and the first thing I see is that I have basic colors that come with most paint sets like vermilion, lemon yellow, crimson violet, Prussian blue, deep green, sap green, burnt umber, black, and white. It also comes with a pencil, two paint brushes, and a little plastic blending palette and a really cute pocket sized watercolor paper sketchbook that's the perfect size for to go. You throw it in your bag and you can paint wherever. The paint brushes seem decent quality. I do like how soft the bristles are which Sometimes you can get cheap paintbrushes in sets, but I'm overall satisfied with the quality of these. Of course, the first thing that happened when I tried to open the first super paint, it pretty much explodes. And of course, I had to open the darkest color first and stain my fingers for the rest of the video, so that was great. That's the one thing that I don't like about these little tubes of paint, that you've got to pop them open and sometimes the pressure that's released makes the paint squirt right out and there's no way to put it back in, so it kind of seems like a waste. But what I can say is that I do love how pigmented the colors are of this watercolor. I can't really get this pigmentation from the basic watercolor that I use from Michaels. It gets the, it gets the work done um, and it helps me practice. So if you're looking to get into watercolor, I would definitely recommend starting with something like that. Or you can jump into this right away. I just preferred starting with something basic and then building up from that. But that's just me, again. My favorite thing to sketch out and paint recently is all kinds of flowers, mainly roses as those are one of my favorite kind of flowers, but it is springtime and I've been seeing tulips pop up everywhere. And wow, are tulips underrated. I don't know why I never really paid them mine before, but I've just started seeing them this spring and the color, the shape, I've just been seeing them everywhere and I've had an urge to paint them. And that's what my inspiration for today's sketches are. I'm using some of the paper from Royal and Lang Nicole's watercolor sketch pad and right away I'm loving the thick quality of it. I've used a lot of sketchbooks before and sketch pads and the pages all warped in some slight way which I didn't like but I made it work because it's what I had available to me. Recently I purchased a multimedia sketchbook from Michaels and it's by Kansen and it does have pretty good quality paper. It says on the cover that it is specifically for acrylic paint and watercolor and it works pretty well. But I'm going to try this watercolor paint out on some of that paper from my Canon sketchbook just so you can see the difference and get an idea of what this paint will look like on watercolor paper and multimedia sketchbook paper. So sit back and enjoy the video and I'll see you in a bit.
So that first painting was done on the Royal and Langnickel watercolor sketch pad paper and now I'm going to be painting some more florals with the watercolor on the Kansen paper from my multimedia sketchbook.
On my second attempt of a tulip, I really love the almost unfinished look that the watercolor gives it. I was a lot more free with my color choices and I just love the overall look. Now with the watercolor paper, I do love that the pages are thick and slightly more pigmented. It almost looks aged yellow and I do love how my watercolor sketches look on it. It just makes it pop. The Kansan can be a bit white and bright and it makes me feel like I have to cover every inch of paper. But again, this is just me. Both are really good quality sketch pads. I would recommend either. The Kansan Multimedia Sketchbook is great and only around five or six dollars at Walmart or Michaels. And I will put the links down in the description box of all the supplies used in case you are interested in trying them out for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.